Hello, my lovelies. This is Monday, January the 27th. Yes, it is a Monday. I had a lovely Monday, actually. And I was so happy about the Monday because y'all know how, you guys know how Mondays are. But I had a awesome, awesome Monday. Um, it's getting close to, what time is it? Um, it is 5.11. So, it's 5.11, man. So, I decided to do something different today. Um, on my eating day, I'm still trying to figure this thing out. Everything that's right for me and for my body. And I'm sure you guys have to do the same thing for uh, how you feel like you can conquer your, um, this fasting, you know, lifestyle, or I say like fasting discipline, um, cause it's definitely a discipline that you have to have. Um, which honestly though, for myself, I, I'm still, I, I still can't believe or can hardly believe that I have come this far. Um, I think it's 14 days in and I'm 15 pounds down. And it is really like, wow, I did that. I did that. Um, of course, the first few, the first week, the weight came off really, really fast because of course you have a whole lot of water weight coming off. Um, and so now I'm going into, um, if it's 14 days and I'm going into my third week. So, you know, it's kind of slowing down a little bit, um, but it's good enough where I'm still seeing enough gains where I don't feel like I want to, you know, stop, you know, going. It's still motivating. It's still like, today's an eat day for me. So um, I'm going to tell you what I did differently today um, from my fasting day. I decided, I was thinking about it and I was like, hold up. So I know I usually eat later in the day on my eating day. And when it's getting closer to me about to lay down and everything, and then I started getting tired, you know, getting closer to the bedtime, getting tired because I then just ate the food. And now my body has to kind of break down that food before I go to sleep, which might depend on how late I eat towards the end of the day. You know, I, you know, it could be kind of close to trying to digest while I'm sleeping and all that. Um... Of course, I don't eat at the, I wasn't eating at the seven anyway. So, but I thought today, like I had already prepared all my food over the weekend. Um, and so if you guys go on my Instagram page, Joyful Wangela, you guys will see what I ate for today, which I basically was two chickens, um, um, tenders, two, uh, and then I had some cheese. I actually made two um, chocolate mousse with whipped icing and walnuts on the top. Um, my boss came and gave me some cashews, so I was eating on those too, which I was like, I know I should be eating on all of them nuts because them jokers is high in calories. So I didn't um, necessarily calorie count. I know I had that one meal that I wanted, wanted to consume for the day, which should be within my calorie range of 17 on a low and 2,700 on a high, which I also exercised today. So... I should be good as far as the calorie, but like I said, you don't want to play around with them nuts because you can literally um, pack up really quickly. Um, so I wanted to start earlier, eat earlier today. And I did. I basically took what I was going to eat for my um, evening um, or my midday because I usually start eating around about 12, 11 or 12. And then I would just, you know, keep going on and off or whatever. But remember, my told you I only wanted to do that one meal because, like I said, I didn't have a nice drop on the next day. I kind of stood still. So, like I'm saying, still tweaking and see what is the best option because I'm going to still maximize um, the best of the weight loss. So, earlier, I started eating earlier today. So, literally at 9 o'clock, one of my coworkers brought in a peanut butter chocolate cake that she a peanut butter cake that she made and it was delicious i got like a fourth of it 
And I'm sure it was loaded with sugar and stuff like that. It was just like a fourth of a piece though, but it was amazing. So that's when I got the whole idea, well, maybe I should just go ahead and eat, you know, in the morning. That way I have a whole day to burn off the calories. I'm like, hey, okay, that's cool. And I, so I just got out my meal and I just ate what I wanted to eat later on in the day. And a second epiphany I had was, hold up, why am I drinking broth? Um, am drinking my electrolytes and all of that stuff um, during my eating day. Like I don't need extra sodium or um, the electrolytes and stuff. And so I was thinking to myself, what if that was the reason why I was uh, actually gaining uh, or not gaining or retaining? Or remember I was telling you guys that I felt like my leg was... Um, my feet was swelling up when I would do my homework and stuff. So I was like, hold up. Maybe that is what's happening. I don't need to drink the extra broth and the electrolytes. Duh. I'm really hoping that something, because this is my that will be my first time um, doing that on my eat day. <laughs> so I made sure I did not eat or drink my broth today, uh, which I did bring it to work, but I had the epiphany at work. I was like, okay. So I'm not going to drink that at work. <laughs> I'm not going to drink the broth at all today. And instead of drinking up my electrolytes that I need on the day that I'm fasting, I'll just go straight water. So right now is my time where I know I probably need to be getting that water in to kind of flush out. Because um, like I said, I did have that meal today. If y'all wanted to see it. And I actually broke that meal up at 8 at 9 o'clock. And then I was just satisfied. And... So I only ate half of it, one tender, one of my mousse, and a couple of handful of the, um, I mean, a handful or less of the cashews. And then around about 12, I just ate the rest of it. So I had just about eaten everything around about 12, one o'clock, which usually I would have been just getting started eating around about that time. So now I already have started telling myself, you know, okay, so which lead me into the next big thing. You have to start telling yourself now, you're done eating, you know, you're not about to be eating all day, you're done. So I literally had to start talking to myself. And so what I started doing was, then the next thing I was like, what I do to stop eating, because um, honestly, that was my biggest fear. Like when I started eating, what would I, you know, I, my biggest fear was when I started eating, um, how would I stop? That's always been my problem. It's not that I come fast, that I couldn't lose the weight. It was none of that. It was when I start eating, how do I stop? Well, honestly, to tell the truth, my the fasting discipline on the day on day off has kind of almost cured that. Like I thought that was gonna be the hardest thing to do to really. Oh my God, what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? You know, I'm hungry. Once I start eating, how am I going to stop? You know, that's, that was my biggest thing. But I think by doing a whole full day of fasting and then eating the next day, it has taken care of that discipline. That now when I eat, I'm actually being satisfied. I'm satisfied. Um, I don't feel like I have to eat the whole thing, which is really just messing with my mind. <laughs> it's really messing with my mind, honestly. And like, oh my God. I'm having self-control. This is what I needed. You know, I needed self-control um, while losing weight or while trying to get to my goal, which is amazing. Okay. So I told you guys about that. Um, so this lead me into this fear thing, this fear factor of all the things that fell and went wrong in the past. Of course, I was thinking all those things in the beginning. I just didn't verbalize them this time. I didn't verbalize the fact that I know I gained weight, you know, really rapidly. I know that if I stop eating and then all the weight kind of come back. I know all of those things is a big possibility, but I didn't give myself nothing to have a self-fulfilling prophecy. I just said, no, I'm just going to try it. The first day was very difficult. I ain't going to lie. Because this is your first time you telling your body again, you know, that you're not going to have nothing to eat. Your body don't like to be told what to do. It doesn't, it point blank. But once you start getting control over that, now I can tell my body what I'm going to do. 
So I stopped eating at one and I told myself, no, you're done. You're pretty much, you're good. So what I started doing is now I'm starting to drink my water again. I'm starting to eat my, chew my gum. If I just want to start having that chewing satisfaction sensation, chewing, and I have a lot of gum. I do my best to get the sugar-free ones, okay? But this one is not sugar-free. <laughs> it tastes so good, but it don't last long. It's like a few minutes and it's, all the sweetness is gone. So just for the chewing satisfaction and all of that, I'll start chewing the gum. I actually, when I made the um, hypothesis or they have the epiphany this morning about um, going ahead eating my biggest meal in the morning, why not? You'll have a whole day to burn it. And then, so I still pretty much have my coffee um, from this morning. So I wanna just heat it up and I'm gonna do my coffee, which should fill me up some more because it still have the butter and all the fats in it. So I should be just fine. Like I said, I stopped eating around about one. It is five o'clock and I started drinking my stuff again. So you have to try to get rid of those negative thoughts that comes and tell you, you're not gonna do it this time. You're gonna gain the weight back. You, um, you're not gonna lose no weight tomorrow. Even if you did not lose no weight tomorrow, it doesn't matter. Cause like I said, I have had two of my days, two or three of my days where the scale just basically um, either stood still only lost like two or three ounces, probably four ounces. And I was fine. I, I started rationalized by, rationalizing by saying, look, you done lost, you done lost, what, 15 pounds, you know, in two weeks? Who does that? Who does that? Nobody do that, you know? So I tell myself on days, it's okay. I'm still done lost all of this weight, you know? So, and I'm feeling good, I'm feeling better. What was another one? So yeah, getting rid of those little mindless fears, start conquering them by taking one day at a time and do it. Um, you do got to tweak it to how, I was talking to someone today and they were saying, well, I just can't go the whole day. I can't go the whole day. Well, what can you do? So she's like, I can go um, half of the day and then have one meal at night. Well, do it. Do it. Just do something to start. And start, you know, winning those small milestones. And then you'll start getting strong enough to tell yourself you can do the next big thing. Maybe you can start going a full day when you start seeing the pounds drop and come off. Okay? So you got to do what's best for you. Like, I'm still tweaking. You guys see, I'm tweaking the heck out of this because... I want to get to my goal. My first goal is reaching that 44 pounds lost by my birthday. Um, and so, and I'm on my way there, 15 pounds, two weeks. I'm on my way there. I don't feel like I'm about to stop. I don't feel discouraged. I feel really good. I mean, of course the weight loss is so wonderful. And fitting in pants that I wanted to give away well, I did not want to give away, but I kept on telling myself year after year that you was going to fit in them. And then you finally fit in them. I'm going to post my measurements on this one. You guys, the measurements, the, the inch loss, the inch loss, uh, loss alone. So on some of the days that you don't necessarily do as far as the weight, you could be still going down inches. You guys have to remember that your body is adjusting. It's adjusting. It's, that's a lot of weight. You might as well say I had the weight loss surgery. You might as well say I did if I'm losing that much weight. That's a lot of weight. That's how people who didn't have weight loss surgery lose weight. You know, 20 pounds in a month, you know, that's a lot of weight. I'm not down 20 pounds, but I'm down 15. And I, you know, and I started halfway through this month. So what would have happened if I had the whole month? So you got to kind of start putting those things in perspective and just, you know, just being so thankful each day for each new milestone. Like you literally can do it. And I know it was, is you know, some of the people, if you guys want to be added to the Facebook group, um, just let me know. Just send your um, Facebook um, name and I'll add you to the group. 
And it's basically what I'm doing every day. I'm posting my videos. I'm posting what I'm eating. I'm posting photos, my before photos. I know people don't believe that <laughs> before, but bruh. <laughs> yes, those was real. Those was real, real pictures. And um, I'm so excited that all that swelling and bloating has gone down. Most of that that you saw in those pictures was bloating from eating whatever I want, whatever I want. Yes, that feel good, but it feel even better right now. It feel real good right now to see how quick. And like I said, I got up and exercised today as well. I feel amazing, you know? Of course, on my eating days, like I told you, I do feel like I'm human. On my non-eating days, I feel superhuman. But it's okay. I had to take them in stride. Like I, I was telling someone else today that I didn't did in two weeks what I probably would have did in three months or four months. I didn't did that in two weeks. So what is going to happen when I get to a month? a month, you know, or two months, what would I have accomplished? And so that is even worth it, being more productive with your life, being more, you know, I'm more assertive. I'm, I'm just, it's just, everything is changing. Like not only the weight, not only the inches, but my mind is changing. My life is changing. So Okay, you guys, I want you guys to start now. You got to start. And quit telling yourself you're going to start today. I'm going to start today. I'm going to start today. And then you keep on, no, I'm going to wait till tomorrow because I got this going on. I'm going to wait till the next day because I got this. You ain't going to never start. Stop that. That irritates me. Start. Just do something today. Even if you don't make it through the whole day, at least start somewhere so that you can at least say you started. If you never start, you ain't going to never have a finish line. So please start. Please, in Jesus' name, okay? <laughs> I know I kind of get mad about that. Okay, so bye, you guys. Have a beautiful day.